Hey, oh. welcome back to OK Gen Z. And in today's episode, we'll be talking to you about ISAs here in the UK. Now, ISAs stand for Individual Savings Account, and there are four types here in the UK. Now, all four are designed to make better use of your money than let it sit in a savings account or let it sit in your current account. Um, and you want to make your money go further for you. And this is a great way to start. So there are four types of ISAs. You have a cash ISA, you have an innovative finance ISA, a lifetime ISA and a stocks and share ISA. And each year the government gives you an allowance uh, as a UK taxpayer to put into these four ISAs. And with the lifetime ISA having a maximum of £4,000 you can put in per year, the balance £16,000, you can split that up as you wish, whether you want to put the whole £20,000 into a cash ISA or you want to split the 16,000 into equal parts. So you can put four in a cash ISA, four in a lifetime ISA, four in a stocks and share ISA, and four in an innovative finance ISA. It's completely up to you. So let's go through each of these ISAs, what they mean for you, what the benefits are. And hopefully after this video, you'll, you'll have the knowledge to make some money. So first one, a cash ISA. Now a cash ISA, is the equivalent of a savings account here in the UK. And what it lets you do is you put cash into a cash ISA and it accrues interest. Now the difference here between a normal savings account and a cash ISA is that any interest that you've gained from a cash ISA is tax free, right? So for example, let's say of that 20,000 um, pound this year, that is that allowance, you put the whole of that into a cash ISA. That means any interest that you've gained from that £20,000 is completely tax-free to you. Whereas if you had put that £20,000 into a savings account, um, there's certain criteria that you may or may not meet. But if you do meet them, that means that interest will be taxed as well. So you'd rather put that in a cash ISA. Now, the second one is an innovative finance ISA, where they let you use tax-free allowance while investing in peer-to-peer -peer lending. Now. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is a form of investment where you directly lend money to borrowers or a business and these borrowers slash businesses pay you back the capital with interest and the benefit of course here is that the interest they pay you back is also tax-free. Just a note here, the, the innovative finance ISA providers, they're not FCA protected so you are um, at risk of losing your money. Um, so do your research, make sure you're happy with the place you open an innovative finance ISA with. And of, of course, the risk is that the people you borrow to I could default on the payment, which you now is not a great situation. Um, and in the case that, you know, everything works out, they, they pay you back with the interest, everything's OK. The cash withdrawal process is supposedly slow as well. Um, so do your research. This may or may not be for you. I think this is better for higher net worth individuals that have the money to risk like that. Um, and the reward will obviously be greater. Cool. Now we'll move on to a lifetime ISA, which some of you may or may not have heard of, but it's one of the more popular ISAs here in the UK. So the lifetime ISA, uh, it's, the benefit is for two reasons. It's, it's to save for your first home. Now I'm swearing. And uh, the second is to use later in life, right? So you need to be aged, aged? You need to be aged 18 to 40 to open up an ISA. And you are allowed a maximum of 4,000 per year into your ISA, uh, into your, sorry, lifetime ISA. And that can be in split chunks or all in one. You can just pay that 4,000 pounds in. Now, each year, the government will put a 25% bonus back into that account. So let's say you've put um four thousand pounds in this year then at the end of the year um the government will give you a 25 percent bonus on top so you've put in four thousand the government put in a thousand you have a five thousand pounds in that account now um you can put that as cash into that account or you can also put uh slots and share into that account um and th when you're going to withdraw, it's basically for two reasons, right? For either later on in life, in retirement, or for buying your first home. There is some criteria you've got to meet when buying your first home. So the first home has to be less than £450,000. You need to be living in there. I believe it's for the first year. Um, so you're not allowed to rent it. Um, and it needs to be through a mortgage. You need to be buying that house through a mortgage. 
And if you're planning to use it later on in life, the LISA or Lifetime ISA, you need to be age 60 or over. Uh, or, um, God forbid, you need to be terminally ill, terminally, ter terminally ill, with less than 12 months to live. Um, and there is a risk of, okay, let's say I've put some money into a LISA, um, and for whatever reason now, I need to withdraw the money, right? Um, there is actually a cost associated with it. So early withdrawals are charged um, currently at 20%, which will increase back to 25% on 6th of April, 2021. You really don't want to be taking out money because um, you'll lose out on some money taking it back out. Um, so ideally just do this if you're sure. Um, but again, it's not the end of the world. It's just a tiny charge if you really need to take some money out. Um, so let's let me give you an example, right? So let's say you're 18 years old right now. So between 80 and 60 years old, let's say you open up a LISA and you've been putting £4,000 in per year. So that's £4,000 times 42 years, right? Which is £168,000 you've put in. Now, the 25% government bonus means the government will give you £42,000. So in total, for that 42 years, you have um, £210,000 in that um, LISA for your retirement, which is amazing. Okay, and moving on to the last one is a stocks and share ISA. Now, this is one of my personal favorites, and it's basically a tax efficient investment account that lets you invest um, with a aim of achieving um, greater return uh, over a longer time period. So ideally three to five years, five years plus. Now, I, I think here I'm supposed to give you a warning that we're not financial advisors. Um, so take this with a pinch of salt, do your own research. Um, but this stocks and share ISA is something I use personally. Currently, I'm using my whole £20,000 allowance with my stocks and share ISA. Um, and I'm using apps such as Free Trade, Trading212, which lets you purchase and sell stocks on the market. Now, it's a great way to earn some money, especially um, my advice would be put money in there that you can afford to lose. Um, it's very risky buying single stocks as well. So if you're more risk averse, I think the right word is, buy ETFs that split that money into multiple. So you have things like, um, um, the S&P 500 funds where they split it between the 500, um, I think it's the best performing companies. Um, and that way your money is safe. Even if one of these companies to go bankrupt, it won't affect the total amount you lose. But at the same time, 500 best companies over a 10 year period, you've been investing in them, you're, you're looking to make a lot of money. So great little way. Um, to put your money rather than leaving in a savings account um especially um when you know think about it if the interest rate you're accruing on your savings is less than the inflation rate technically per year you're losing money so it's the smart thing to do would be to open up the stocks and share isa open up uh you know a lifetime isa and be more efficient with your money now uh, this is a brief introduction to all the four ISAs. I hope it helped. Um, I'll put I'll link some reading material down below, um, and I'll link um, the stocks and share um, apps that I personally use um, down below. Um, if you sign up, I'll get a free share. You'll get a free share. It's a win-win. And if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Um, I'll also link um, some other brokers um, just off the top of my head. There's Hargreaves, I think Lansdowne, Charles Schwab. Um, yeah, free trade trading 212. Uh, I'm, I'm forgetting one, but yeah, do your research, find one that um, fits best for you. Um, and I hope, I hope this helped, and I hope you, um, I hope you make a start. Cheers, guys.